Shalom, Shalom, Kahaloyim, La, Yehoah, Bahashem, Yehoah Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Akwadash, double honor be unto the head elders, the apostles, the great millstone. Shalom to you, fellow believers. All right, men and women. All right, who believe this truth. All right, in sincerity. It's your brother Yarzo Young back with another impromptu and analyzing where we are right now in this world, okay? This scripture right here in Amos 9 and 13 says it all, and we are seeing this thing play out, or in the process of playing out to, to its fullest extent. All right, so let's read it. Amos 9 and 13 says, Behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, that the plowman shall overtake the reaper. You see? Now, these days that are coming, or the days that to come, saith Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, all right, is the times that we're in right now. All right? Currently under the rulership of Esau, Edom. All right? And it says the pl that the plowman shall overtake the reaper. Now, you look, take a look at this depiction here. You got the slave, and you got the uh, slave master. Now, who are the slaves here in America? Or who was brought into slavery here in, um, to America? All right, you so-called Negroes, in particular. You so-called uh, Native Americans were already over here. You so-called Latinos were already over here. And this land that you were indigenous to was violently stripped from you. Okay, and many atrocities was committed against you. You were even shipped off into slavery into uh, different European countries. All right, Spain being one of them, and all throughout the uh, the uh, so-called Europe, you know, France, Australia, Germany. You know, so on and so forth. So you are the plowmen, you are the workers, you're the laborers. All right, that's us. All of the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. All right, from the Southern Kingdom, which is the so-called, so-called African-Americans, so-called West Indians and so-called Haitians, to the so-called Puerto Ricans and the so-called Native Americans, the so-called Dominicans, all right, of uh, Central and South America, okay? The tribes of Ephraim, you know, Zebulon, Manasseh, Naphtali, Asher, Issachar, okay? You are the plowman, and it says, shall overtake the reaper. The reaper, all right, you could go to James, the fifth chapter, all right, the first verse, and read on down. You'll see that that's talking about the elite banking families, the ones that set up this, uh, this world all right who's in the power seat you see you got a lot of people I was just watching something on the epic economist last night you got a lot of people that's finna finna um, that lost their jobs that are re totally relying on government assistance and unemployment and a mass evictions out of their apartments and houses are pending right now Okay, and this is creating, this is, this is created what? And it's going to create what? All right, disorder, anarchy. All right. So this is, <laughs> we're, we're heading in this time, man. All right, it's going to be mass anarchy. And anarchy means a lack of, of, of uh, order. Okay. You know. And the treader of grapes, him that soweth seed. And that's even, and that's even uh, more, more, uh, how can you say, that's even more, and that's dealing with all the tribes, because you got this, the tribe of uh, Issachar, which is the so-called Mexicans, and the cent different Central Americans, American tribes, all right, and South American tribes, that's like one of the main uh, occupations that they have, to, you know, pick fruits and, you know, and, uh, uh, make wine pick fruits and vegetables and make wine all right the menial jobs all right 
the jobs that you know normal you you, you so-called uh, you 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 normal people so to speak that live in the cities couldn't do but how do you think all your apples and your oranges and you know your different produce all right get get uh get into your supermarkets <laughs> you got israelites that is treading the grapes and that's uh sowing the seeds and that's you know picking all of the fruits and vegetables that you consume in these cities or wherever you may be man so from the from the from the from the from the from the executive offices and you know these big corporations to the most menial jobs all right because things Yahweh Bashim Al Shai is visiting this wicked world rightfully so all right for all of the iniquity and wickedness that's going on and the mountains the mountains represents the governments like England or Britain here in America okay Australia France Germany all right Spain these are mountains Go to the book of Revelation, it speaks about the seven heads and the ten horns. That represents NATO and the EU. Okay? The mountain shall drop sweet wine, and all the hills shall melt. Wow, that's heavy because as it stands, you got a lot of uh, executives. The high executives in these, you know, of these mountains, they are making more money than they ever did. Because everything is being funneled through the uh through, through the through the internet. Alright? People are uh the, the, the those that that own these major corporations like Google and Amazon, which Jeff Bezos, he's a he's on a lower totem pole. He's not an elite so to speak he's not part of the elite banking family's bloodline but nonetheless he has a corporation that benefits them so that's like the sweet wine the sweet wine is the the the, the goodies that they're able to extract from the people man all right Me meaning the rich come become richer and the poor becomes poor man it says and all the hills shall melt because the hills they're not doing as well as the mountains, man. And the hills are lower governments, man. All right? These lower governments. All right? Hey, so Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is visiting the world, which he made, and it's just going to increase and increase. All right? Just the time that we're in. Hopefully you were edified. Call Loyal, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakagodash. Till next one. Shalom.